Hello guys, welcome to my channel Create Knowledge. In this video, I will tell you how to download and install Node.js in your system. And also I will tell you how to run Node.js in Visual Studio Code. If you have not yet installed Visual Studio Code, please must visit my last video. I have given the link of that video in my description box. Please must watch that video how to install Visual Studio Code because up without Visual Studio Code it is not good to use Node.js. First you have to download and install Visual Studio Code in your system. So this is my request you please must visit my last video so that you can easily download and install Visual Studio Code in your system. And I have given the link of my video in my description box. Now, I will also tell you how to run Node.js in CMD prompt, PowerShell and how you can create a local server by using Node.js in Visual Studio Code. Now, I am going to open my Google Chrome browser. Now, I will write Node.js download. This is the official website of Node.js. I have to click here. And you see, there are three options is there. Windows installer. Mac OS installer and source tool. Leave it. Now I'll go for Windows installer. I have to click here and the and Node.js latest version is 18.16.0. This is the last latest version of Node.js. Now I'm going to install this version 18.16.0. Now I have to click on Windows installer. This is for 64 bits. You click here. Now I see this is going to download in my download folder. Now I am going to open my download folder. This is my download folder. Here you see node version 18.16.0. I double click here. And you see welcome to the node.js and the next. And I have to accept the license agreement. And then next. And this is the default location of installation of Node.js. You can change it, but not but now I am not going to change it. Let it in default position. Then next. And also then next. And automatically install necessary tool. So I will teach it here. This is, this is a chocolate ring. And then next. Then install. Now it is installing. And now click on finish. Press any key to continue. Again, press any key to continue. Now, chocolate is power cell is now installing. It will take a couple of seconds. Please wait. Type as enter. Okay, now see Node.js has installed in my system. Please note it down. It has taken more than 10 minutes to install Node.js in my system. Now I have successfully installed Node.js in my system. Now I am going to check Node.js in my CMD prompt window PowerShell and I will use Node.js in Visual Studio Code. So first I am going to open CMD prompt. Here you write CMD. Enter. And I will write here node. Enter. Press enter. You see. Welcome to node.js version 18.16.0. Now here I am going to write console. Welcome to my channel. Then press enter. And you see, output is, I have got the output, 
welcome to my channel now you understand how to write code in cmd prompt and for exit i will write dot exit to exit from this cmd prompt exit and now i am going to close it now i am going now i'll check it in my window power cell this is window power cell you write here power cell and you will get the window power cell click here this is my window power cell here i will write node press enter and you see here also telling welcome to node.js version 18.16.0 here i will here i will write console dot log here right this is node.js project i press enter and you see the output this is node.js project so now you understand how to write in window power cell for exit i will write dot exit enter okay now i am going to close it now i am going to open my visual studio code before that here i am create a folder i am giving the name of this folder demo node demo node js now i am going to open visual studio code here this is my visual studio code and close this welcome page open a folder my folder is my desktop demo node js select the folder and you see demo node js folder is created now here now here i am going to create a javascript file i am giving the file name gopal dot js and enter now here i am going to write now here writing console dot log welcome to my channel welcome to my channel and here i am going to save this file save and terminal here i am using open a new terminal you can run it from here here welcome to my channel and in terminal also you can run it now in terminal here I'll write node node dot backslash you, you name your file name gopal dot js and enter and you see in terminal you get the output welcome to my channel okay now i am telling one more thing and also you can write here i am block this code i'll command line now i am write here co const a is equal to 340 console dot log console dot log and i'll pass a and semicolon and press enter and you see now i'm going to save it save it and run and you see i got the result output 340 in terminal i am going to see it my terminal here i'll write node 
डॉट स्लैस गोपाल डॉट जे एस फाइल नेम इज हियर आई एम गेटिंग द आउटपुट थ्री फोर्टी इन आउटपुट सेक्शन यू गेट द सेम रिजल्ट इन टर्मिनल ऑल्सो यू गेट द सेम रिजल्ट नाउ आई एम टेलिंग वन मोर थिंग ना मेक ए कॉमेंट लाइन हियर Now I am going to Node.js, and you see this is the official website of Node.js. Here, the click on About. Here you get a code. Okay, this code is give you the Hello World. Now I am going to copy it. Copy this code. I am going to paste here. Going to paste here. And here I am going to change this one. I am going to write here. Please subscribe. Subscribe my channel. Now I am going to save it. Now here. In terminal, I am going to write here node dot backslash write Gopal dot JavaScript JS. Now you see the what output I am getting after putting this code. Press enter, and you see a server running at HTTP. It is given a server. So I just uh, click the link, follow link, and you get the output. In server, you get the output. Please subscribe my channel. So now I, I think you understand how to use Node.js. Node.js Node.js is nothing but a runtime environment server. So I think you understand how to download and install. Node JS in your system, and how you run Node JS in CMD prompt, Windows PowerShell, and Visual Studio Code. I think this video is helpful for you. And if it is, if you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and share my video with your friends. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks a lot. Thanks.